Hiya family, welcome back to my channel. I am Amy for anybody that is new around here and I have another tutorial for you today. Today we are actually drawing a bird in coloured pencils. I'm actually doing a drawing in Prismacolors today and we are also using a solvent as well. I do have all of the materials listed below as well as the link to my Patreon because this is part of a full real-time narrated tutorial on Patreon. So if you'd like to check that out, the link is down below to my patron and the tutorial is on there for five dollar patrons or more i also have lots of other real-time tutorials over on my patron so again if you'd like to check that out just go and click the link down below and that will take you straight there but anyway without further ado let's just get straight on with this tutorial i'm just going to talk about some of the materials that i'm using so as i said i am using prismacolor pencils for this that's the prismacolor premiere pencils and i'm also using the zestit pencil blend as well so that's a pencil solvent and the first thing that i am doing is i am just actually starting with my main outlines now my techniques are slightly different for this because I'm using a solvent. Normally my normal techniques and methods would be the layering and burnishing technique but for this, this is very different because obviously the solvent is going to do most of the work. So for the initial steps, what I actually like to do is I like to get in sort of more blocks of colour and shadows of colour. Then I'll blend all of that out and then I'll go in with the finer details at the end. The first thing that I'm doing is I'm using the black pencil. This is actually the black polychromos pencil. I ran out of black Prisma colours, I get through them a lot. And what I did was I actually started to just block in the main shadows and outlines of the bird using this pencil, but as more shading techniques and methods. So I don't really apply a lot of pressure with the pencils because obviously if I do that, then the solvent won't be able to work it's magic and we need to be able to allow the solvent to actually absorb into the paper. I also started to include some other colours in the bird so this bird was very very blue it was a blue bird <laughs> and what I did was I actually started to shade in some blue tones so I shaded in some nice light blue tones and then some darker blue tones as well. And I also shaded in some colours into the beak as well. And I am also shading in some colours into the branch as well because I decided to actually include a background to this and I also decided to include the branch as well. So I actually like to do just general shading so it doesn't really matter if the shading looks a little bit messy obviously the solvent is going to blend all of this out so at this stage I'm just more worried about getting in the shadows the values the different colors and hues into the bird and then when I go in with the solvent I blend all of that out wait for it to dry and then I will go back in with all of my pencils and create those finer details for the breast of the bird I guess or the, or the chest of the bird might sound a little bit better um, I actually shade in a lot of lighter tones so I had some lighter grey tones and some lighter blue tones as well obviously because that area was actually quite nice and white although as I normally say in my tutorials just because you're drawing an animal with white fur it doesn't mean that you can just leave the white fur white there are lots of different tones and values in that white fur as well so that's why I included a lot of greys and a lot of blue tones as well. I also worked a little bit on the branch but again we're using a solvent so I wasn't adding in a lot of detail. Normally I'd be going in with my embossing tool, I'd be going in with a lot of detail but today I'm literally just shading in different colours and I shaded in mainly brown tones, also some greens as well for that sort of natural foliage feel to the branch but because I'm going in with the solvent I'm not going in with a heavy hand or heavy detailing at this stage, I'm just mainly shading in also just very very quickly normally like I said I would be using an embossing tool and I would actually use the embossing tool to just make slight indentations of the paper you don't want to be doing that with a solvent because it won't work the, the emboss you're just 
absorb the lines up with the solvent as soon as you go over it so don't use an embossing tool so for the actual solvent I am going in with paint brushes that's how I like to actually blend out my solvent and I am actually using some paint brushes from Dayla Rowney they're my favorite brushes to use and when I'm using a solvent the first thing is number one ventilation you need to make sure that you have a lot of ventilation in your room um, because obviously it is a toxin you need to be very careful there's a lot of chemicals in solvent so if you are going to be using a solvent and doing a tutorial similar to this make sure you ventilate your room secondly I like to use the paintbrush to blend out the solvent and it's always important to get the correct amount of solvent on the paintbrush you don't want to have the paintbrush dripping wet because what can happen is that you can get smears on the paper but also you're more likely to break the or damage the tooth of the paper break the paper rip the paper and you also don't want to have the paintbrush too dry because then the solvent won't work you need to have the sort of correct amount so what I like to to do is I like to dip the paintbrush into the solvent get it slightly wet and then I would just use a paper towel and just dab off some excess solvent and I just find that that really does do the trick I like to use a different combination of brushes as well for different parts of the bird I pretty much just use one size paintbrush for the whole of the bird except for the small details like the beak and the eyes for that I like to use a really small detailed brush just to make sure that I'm getting into all those little crevices in and corners of the animal it's also really important that when you are using a solvent you are waiting for it to dry so you want to be waiting for at least 30 minutes for it to dry um, because if you go in and you start adding in pencils over wet solvent you're going to get a real mess on your hands and it could rip the paper so don't do that what I like to do is I like to just either wait for it to dry or work on another part of the drawing so for this I'm working on the background I'm shading in again loads of different colors and then I'm using the solvent in the background and I started by using a sort of medium sized brush by De La Rowney and I also did use a bigger brush as well for or the bigger areas and again as you can see as you go over those areas they become a lot more um, bolder a lot more brighter and a lot more vibrant as well so that's another thing that you have to be careful of you've got to be careful of what colors you use you don't really want to have um, an area that is going to be really dark or intensified so for example if you're using black be careful because black will become really really intensified when you go in with a solvent so next we have waited for at least 30 minutes for the solvent to dry and I am going in now with my colored pencil so as I said I'm using mainly Prismas apart from one which is the black polychromos and this is my favorite step of any drawing so after I've done the solvent I love going in with the detailing stage and I just go back in with the pencils and I start to just add in more specific details also you do get a sort of like chalky effect when you use a solvent so the pencils just help to just obviously flatten out any sort of textures that are looking a little bit grainy they also add a lot more detail in so for example the branch the branch now looks very very flat very sort of two-dimensional so I like to be able to go in with my colored pencils and again just re-intensify re uh, add in those shadows add in the details again and this I love doing this sort of technique and this step also I find it really easy to overlay colored pencils over areas that I've used a solvent in so as you can see it's so easy for me to go back in with those details I also love to create that really scratchy effect on the branch by going in with my pencils and going in lots of different directions for the background I also like to shade in and glaze in more colored pencil and I just like to do this again to just add more vibrancy sometimes the solvent can make it look a little bit more washed out and I do apply a bit more of a firmer pressure just to blend out those areas 
it's very very rare that I will actually draw backgrounds so this one was a new one for me and I really enjoyed doing this I hope you did enjoy this video as well and as always if you are new around here please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it really does mean a lot to me I will of course be back with a brand new video very very soon and of course thank you very very much for watching this video bye everyone